In today's video, we will reveal how Alana almost fooled Pan and Teller with an amazing fashion-inspired magic trick. Let's do a quick rewind of what happened in the performance. Alana started off the performance by magically appearing a pair of earrings in her hands out of thin air. After wearing those earrings, her jacket started to zip up automatically. Alana's left pocket opened magically. Then the right pocket of the jacket opened. Then both pockets kept opening and closing alternatively. She produced a hand out of her chest. She proceeded to produce a makeup brush in her right hand magically. Another hand started peeking out of her jacket's right pocket with a mirror in the hand. Then, another hand started to peek out of her jacket's left pocket. After throwing the makeup mirror from her hand, Alana produced a hand out of her back. Another hand started to come out of her chest, and she started to play with her face. Then her dress magically opened to reveal her leg. Once again, another hand appeared from her inside her jacket with a hairspray and she started to spray her hair. Another hand eventually came out of her jacket's pocket. Alana finally opened the jacket to reveal that it's empty from the inside and she has nothing to hide. She finished up the trick by pulling her head upwards and detaching it from her body and then putting it back on. Before we continue into the video any further, warning, magic spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. I want to give a quick shout out to my wonderful patrons for supporting my work. Their support is a reason I am able to improve my content and upload more regularly. I will now explain in detail how the trick works. When Alana first walked onto the stage we can see her holding the jacket near the opening with both of her hands, before she produces the two earrings. She was actually holding on to both the earrings in her left and right hand. After zipping up the jacket she held on to both earrings in a tenkai palm. We can see in this slowed down clip, she's adjusting the earrings into the position. You can see in this image how a tenkai palm looks like. She simply then shifted both of her thumbs upwards to produce the earrings in her hands. She then wore the earrings with the help of simple magnets. In the next trick, she was able to zip up her jacket completely without ever touching the zipper. Well, to understand how that happened, we need to rewind back to when she was wearing her second earring on her left ear. During this moment, she did a clever move. The jacket she is wearing is no ordinary jacket, rather is specially designed to perform this particular trick. If you were to look at this still image of the jacket she's wearing and compare it to a normal jacket, you will see a very odd and obvious difference, which is the armhole on the left and right side of the jacket. The armhole is almost 3 to 4 times larger than an ordinary jacket. The reason this jacket is customized to have an extremely large armhole is for Alana to be able to move her elbow far back into the jacket to the point that her hand completely slips out from her sleeves. So basically what she did while wearing the second earring was, her right hand moved towards the back of the jacket and we can even see the back of her jacket popping out in this frame right before the producers of the show cut this scene. I also want to point out one more thing which is that this act has been majorly edited out and really makes us question Fool Us's claim of showing an unedited performance footage. Once she moves her right arm towards the back of her jacket, she pushes out a fake hand that looks exactly like her right hand which you can see in this frame. We can even compare her left hand to her right hand and see the size and color difference. When she moved her right arm to the back of her jacket, she repositioned her arm so it is now right over here, and started to zip the jacket up from the inside. She then carefully used her right hand to pick up the empty sleeve of her right arm and place the fake hand into a slot to avoid it from jerking around randomly due to her continuous movement. Alana then moved the flaps of her left and right pocket up and down. This is fairly easy since we already know her right hand is right over here. And she is simply controlling the flaps from inside the jacket and using simple tabs that look something like this. These tabs were long so she can hold both of them in one hand and control both of them at once easier. She then moves her left hand behind her jacket and apparently moves her hand right through her body. In this trick, the hand we see in front is not her left hand, rather her right hand that is hidden in the jacket performing the previous tricks. Once again there's a video edit by the producers in which her right fake hand is switched for the real one. In order to perform the switch, all she does is take her real right hand out and pull the fake hand into her sleeve. Right now both her left and right hand are real inside the sleeve. She then turns to her right side and produces a makeup brush. Well, this makeup brush is hidden inside a pocket on her right side of the dress. This pocket is actually on the inside of the dress. She then bends down in this frame to reach for the makeup brush. And while she attempts to pull it out, we can even see the pocket is on the inside of the dress over here. In this frame we spot the tip of the brush exiting the slit in her dress. After producing the brush, she rotates her body towards her left side and performs this switch with her left hand this time in which her left hand moves towards the back of the jacket, and pushes out the fake left hand prop. We can see in this frame. 
Although the producers of the show has zoomed in, we can see she places the fake hand into the pocket in front of the dress to avoid it from moving randomly as she moves. Now her real left hand is on the inside of her jacket. She then pulls out mirror from her right pocket. This mirror was simply hidden inside her jacket which she pulled out through the hole over here. When she pulled out the mirror from the left side of her jacket, that mirror was not the same rather a simple aluminum foil cutout which was black on one side. While throwing the aluminum foil mirror on the floor, she moved her right hand that was holding the brush to her right side, and placed it back into the pocket from where she pulled it out. And then while she is turning to her left once again, we spot her left fake hand being switched for the real one. You can see in this frame both the real and the fake hand together. Once again, the camera was cut and this time her right real hand was switched for the fake hand, and you can see the fake hand when she turns around. She then repositions the right hand behind her jacket, and pulls it out from the hole on the back side. And simply moves her left real hand up and down, to create a seesaw effect. She then places a fake right hand in between her jacket and pulls up the zip, so her real right hand is actually still hidden inside her jacket which she uses to pull a thread to reveal her leg. She then pulls out a hairspray can with her right hand from inside a hidden pocket in the jacket. And when she threw the can on the floor, she switched her left real hand for a fake hand. So, in this frame both of her hands inside her sleeves are fake, this fake hand that appears to be moving right underneath her neck is no ordinary hand, rather an electronic hand that moves its fingers slightly by simply pressing a button. That button was pressed with her left hand during this frame. And then while turning around, she switches both of her fake hands right over here for her real hands, so now her real hands are inside her left and right sleeve, we can even spot the fake right hand right in her sleeve in this frame. In order to vanish the robotic right hand, all she had to do was open up her jacket and create a room. By doing so, the robotic hand which was attached with a thread swung to the back of her jacket. Now for the final trick in which she takes off her head and places it back on. The producers of the show have removed a major portion of Alana's act. In order to explain accurately how she performed the entire sequence for pulling her head off, she actually did a jacket switch. In her full routine on YouTube, you can see that she takes off her jacket and places it behind this triangular object with a hand sculpture on it. In her full performance she places the jacket over here and performs several tricks. The fake mannequin head, is hidden right over here on the inside of the jacket. So, when she inserts her head into the jacket, the fake mannequin head pops out, and she has bent over her neck. She then removed the mannequin head and isolates it from her body. And to switch the mannequin head for her real head, she bends over in this frame and hides it in a pocket underneath her dress. If you have made it this far into the video, be sure to like and also consider subscribing, I would really appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel and at the same time get access to exclusive reveals only for my patrons. Join the $10 tier of my Patreon to gain exclusive access today. For those who want to request magic reveals and chat with me live they can join my $30 tier.